The Medill line of logging equipment is designed and manufactured from the ground up for a single purpose, to harvest timber in the most efficient manner consistent with good timber management. Flying a 30,000 pound turn of logs across this steep canyon is swift and smooth for the 046 slackline yarder. The high flying logs arrive intact with minimal disturbance to the environment. This five drum, 525 horsepower yarder with its 90 foot spar tree is engineered for high production work in difficult terrain. The three part skyline system consists of a skyline, a haulback, and a skidding line. Here the system is stretched across 1900 feet from tower to tail block with a one and three eighths inch cable. As the operator breaks out another turn, the haulback snubs the skidding line. A truckload of fine timber seen from the tail block almost 2,000 feet from the Medill 046. A good example of the terrain and lumber where the Medill 046 slackline yarder excels in cost-effective harvesting. Our machines are built to log, whether in rugged terrain like this or in less demanding lowlands. Every machine is made as simple, rugged, and functional as modern technology allows to meet the unique requirements of the industry. The rigging is a shotgun carriage with a modified North Bend block on top of the 90-foot steel spar. The haulback drum is carefully designed to spool the line smoothly at high speed with minimum wear and tear. The Slackline 046 yarder is designed for rubber, track, or trailer-mounted operation. At another steep mountainside, an 046 with a standard shotgun carriage harvests logs for Warehouser Company. The 046 with the shotgun carriage is an especially efficient combination in mountain goat country like this. is a three-drum brother of the 046. It is of the same rugged construction and elementary design. Used primarily in high lead applications, the most basic of all cableway logging, the 009 has earned a solid place in the big timber country of the Pacific Northwest. Like the 046, it is equipped with disc-type air-operated water-cooled brakes on the main and haulback drums. Whether rubber tire mounted or track mounted for greater stability in rugged conditions, as here on Vancouver Island, the 009 is a production machine. Following the cataclysmic eruption of Mount St. Helens, several Medill 046 machines were mobilized for the massive salvage logging operation. Here it is operating in the high lead configuration 18 miles northwest of the volcano. 
The trees in the background survived the surge of the eruption that flattened 156 square miles of timber, but fell victim to the high temperature flashes. The abrasive volcanic ash provided a tough test for the versatile 046. Even a year after the eruption, ash was still a major problem for both the men and the machines. Its three-stage torque converter automatically selects the optimum engine torque for constantly changing loads. Its two-speed power input shaft provides a wide range of usable line pulls and speeds. This stand of second growth, 19 miles from the volcano, was badly singed by heat. All had to be cut as salvage. For this yarding job, a Medill 071 mobile tower was called in. Mounted on a tank carriage, the unit is an all-purpose, five-drum, high-lead skyline yarder that is adaptable to all systems. This homemade gravity carriage with a shotgun system is suspended on a one-inch skyline to increase the speed of the cycle. Another application of the all-purpose 071 is in rolling hills of dense second growth. A skidder system incorporates a three-drum drop-line carriage, which brings the chokers to the choker center from above. Free from time-consuming tangles in the underbrush, this allows for quick choker return which translates into a faster cycle for each turn of log. The logs are less susceptible to damage because they are picked by the skyline and returned to the landing. In this type of rolling terrain, the operator gains additional deflection by using tail trees. The skyline is tail holed to a stump after going through a block in the tree. With its high maneuverability, the 318 horsepower machine with 48 foot spar is extremely suitable for quick in and out operations like this. The unit can be delivered in one piece on a low boy truck. As soon as the extremely stable tank mounted unit positions itself, the self-raising mechanism begins to raise the spar. The connecting pin is inserted. The stay lines are attached. The hydraulic raising cylinder is locked out of the way. The guy lines are attached to prepared stumps. And the running lines are reeled out to start logging. An experienced crew can move in with the spar down and be up and running within 15 minutes. Once in the area, it can move about rapidly with its tower up or down on marginal roads. 
The spar stays permit travel between landings with the spar raised. The machine has more than adequate line pull and horsepower to handle the big timber here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. When the 071 completes its work, the crew simply reverses the spar raising process. They unhook the guys, unpin the hydraulic cylinder, lower the spar, and away it goes again. Higher costs of logging due to labor and fringe benefits, machinery, fuel, insurance, have made the labor savings offered by the grapple yarding system very popular. The Medill 044 grapple yarding crane, working in conjunction with a mobile back spar, offers tremendous saving in labor while boosting production. A two-man crew decked this windrow. The logs are stockpiled in windrows along the road to be loaded in a separate operation. Here, close them. Down. Up. Division of the yarding from the loading operation results in greater efficiency. Logs can be loaded on demand or when the trucking schedules permit. Two. Hold on. Down. Close them. Good shot. Changing roads is just a matter of moving the two rigs over to the next section. This arrangement allows two operators to maneuver the entire rigging system over the cut timber systematically and with great efficiency. Once the tractor is parked, the operator becomes the spotter. Like all other Medill machines, the 044 was designed from the tip of the boom to the axles for just this job, bringing home the logs. In this steep terrain, it has no problem getting around. Any road a logging truck can manage, the 044 will manage. On arrival at a new landing, the first step is to notch out a stump for the backstay. And secure the back guy. The modern control panel in the well-protected cab is engineered for ease of operation and minimum stress on the operator. Here the tail spar is uphill from the yarder. Grapple Yarder is quite capable of handling old growth timber as well. The cab is located high above the Yarder body for better visibility and safety. Note the smooth air cushioned swing. Drums and shafts have air clutches and water cooled brakes. There are two main drums a tagline drum, and a haulback drum.
large windrows in the log inventory along the right of way. The Medill log loader is a unique union of 150,000 pounds of steel and horsepower engineered for the heavy demands of the wood industry. It is not a converted crane or excavator. The Model 075 is a self-propelled rubber tired unit designed for mobility and speed in serving several yarders simultaneously. Four stabilizing jacks are operated from the cab where the operator levels the unit. All controls for both the loading and driving are located in the operator's cab. Despite its size and weight, it is highly maneuverable, even with the snorkel. It is equipped with Clark BD-91000 driving axles and has a five-speed Allison transmission with retard. The loader is equipped with 318 horsepower and the undercarriage also has a separate 318 horsepower engine. It has a cruising speed of 18 miles per hour and a great ability comparable to most logging trucks. The added length provided by the wood snorkel effectively increases the radius of the boom 50 to 75 feet. A standard boom is 32 feet long. The snorkel is designed to take no load at all. Its sole function is to place the open grapple where the operator wants it. The load is taken up by the cable system running through the boom sheaves. Few yarders, even our own, can keep up with the speed and productivity of this machine. When it cleans out one landing, it simply moves to the next. Two yarders are served by this 075. The hinged boom design is to facilitate loading of off-highway trucks, which often carry loads higher than 25 feet. These 100-ton loads are quite common in British Columbia timber operations. The 075 loader also comes with a Medill crawler undercarriage. In this configuration, it is especially effective for picking up right-of-way logs. The stability and mobility of the track system allows for stop-and-go yarding. The outside track width is 13 feet by 18 feet long, with 15 feet on the ground.
The track shoes are 35.5 inches wide. The unit weighs 165,000 pounds and has a 318 horsepower engine. Its roadside maneuverability is enhanced by crawler type steering. Although made of locally available timber, the snorkel mount is standard equipment on all 075 loaders. It gives the operator the additional reach to place the grapple on logs that may have slipped downhill or were beyond the reach of the 32-foot radius of the boom. This machine can move with the truck and load from along the right-of-way. Its track speed is 3.25 miles per hour. Medill's large modern manufacturing plant is located in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, right in the heart of the world's most prolific logging region. The heavy-duty parts for our units are machined from the finest steel by skilled craftsmen. These precision machine tools and fabrication capabilities enable Medill to maintain the highest quality control on all parts that go into the machines built specifically for the rugged needs of the logging industry. Medill a name you can count on in the woods. <laughs>